Hi guys, welcome back to yesterday's wishes and today I'm going to do my first get ready with me. I am first using Garnier Ultimate Blend Shampoo and Conditioner with Vanilla Milk and Papaya. I wash myself with this amazing smelling body wash from Imperial Leather Fun Fair Nostalgia. I'm using the simple micellar water just to wipe off any excess makeup that I didn't get in the shower or last night. I love Clarins skin products, they are the base to every one of my makeup looks and I've been using them for over a year now. They've got rid of my acne problems. First I'm using the Clarins toner and next I then use the Clarins moisturiser Hydro Quench. I let all my skincare products soak into my face and then apply Puff Off by Benefit, the best eye cream in the whole entire world. I'm nearly running out guys. Moisturise those lips with some Vaseline. L'Oreal Lumi Magic Primer, stick that makeup on that face, sister. Ladies and gentlemen, the towel is coming off the head. To my towel dried hair, I'm applying Kerastase Nectar Thermique. I'm applying Kerastase oils, the ends of my hair. This is also amazing. I can't really pronounce the name of it. Look in the description box, guys. <laughs> Now I'm drying that hair with that GHD Air. I tend to pin it up in sections because it's just easier to manoeuvre when you're blind and all the hair clips are flying everywhere and the hair's flying one way and you're thinking the hair dryer's the wrong way round, which there is a clip of that. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, basically pin it up guys because you get the most volume out of your hair. I tend to flip my head over sometimes and do and dry it like upside down. That also pumps up your hair follicles or I don't really know the technical way to say it, but yeah. Now I'm applying my foundation with, as always, my Miracle Complexion Sponge by Real Techniques, the holy grail of my life. Um, and I've tried a new foundation, guys. It's the L'Oreal Matte 24 Hour in Porcelain. Um, this I've had trials and tribulations with, really, throughout the week because sometimes it oxidizes on my face. You guys will have to let me know in the comments, but yeah, sometimes I go out and Alice and Ollie are like, your face is a bit orange. Have you used a different powder or foundation? I'm like, oh, because sometimes in different lights, like Alice says it does match my face, but oh, I don't know. Let me know what you think of it anyway. As always, my L'Oreal Lumi Magic Concealer, tapping it on with the ring finger. Do I need to say more? Now I'm patting in the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder with my Holy Grail brush. I do mix it up a little bit in this Get Ready With Me. Um, oh my gosh, shock horror Lucy, what are you doing? And here it is guys, the grand reveal. I am actually using a different makeup brush. This is great for contour. It's the 3D HD Sigma Kabuki brush. Um, and Sigma was kind enough to send me some brushes and this is just amazing for contour. Um, just, I don't know what it is, but I've never used like a brush that's just so defining to the cheekbones. And let me know what you guys think. Now I'm using the Sigma 3D HD Precision for the highlight. I'm fixing my eyeshadow look today with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I'm trying new eyeshadows today guys. It is Makeup Revolutions Base and Mountains of Gold. I really really love this Mountains of Gold colour. It's really nice for an overall lid colour and also in the crease. I'm applying these products with the Sigma Eye Shading E55 brush. Now in with the Collection Smoky Eye Palette, the middle colour, and I'm dabbing it on with my finger because I like to sort of get the gist of where my eyelid is before I start blending. I'm using the Sigma Blending E25 brush to blend that all in. Applying my favourite, favourite, favourite eyeliner, Maybelline Master Precise. I'm now applying Benefit Roller Lash as I love their puff off so much. I had to get this mascara because people are raving about it online. It's amazing. To finish off the look, I'm using a Clarins Lip Balm Lip Perfector in 01 Rose. Now I'm preparing for dim locks to be curled. I'm using the Mark Hill Weaver Waver. Well done for the alliteration, Mark Hill, loving it. I tend to just go around my head feeling for each section of my hair, but sometimes I do pin it up like today, um, it, just because it makes it easier really. And yeah, it makes it easier to be like, not have a long bit and then have a curl right next to it as I can't see it afterwards. Um, but yeah, this is the most successful 
way I do it before I go out for a party. Got some VO5 shine spray because it makes you look so shiny like the shiny show. I'm volumizing my hair today and setting it in place with the L'Oreal L Net hairspray. And now for my finished makeup look with my outfit, I have paired it with a nice black bardo long sleeved top and I've tucked it into a black and white striped pencil skirt with some heels just to go out in for a nice summer's evening down the pub with my boyfriend. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video guys, Olga's in the background just saying hi. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and let me know if you like this because I'll do it again. Bye! P.S. guys, if you want any of the Sigma brushes, look down below in the description box, which is where you can find it, and you can click a coupon code and go to the Sigma website and look at all their amazing products. You pound really hard on your face, so that you slap in yourself. <laughs>